This is Adrian Hart with your Southeast Colorado News in Rocky Ford, Colorado, wrapping up the Arkansas Valley Fair for the 145th year. Today is Car Show Day. They should call it that, right, Gordon? It works for me. It works for Gordon. Uh, this car show is, of course, with Gearhead, Inc., and Absolute Automotive, Kelly, Sarah, Tiffany, and Gordon, all putting it together. And uh, anyone you want to... Uh, mention before we get started in our little stroll through the car show? Oh, we definitely want to thank the spectators that have brought out the participants with their cars. Um, this year is more of a meet and greet than the traditional car show that people are used to. Yep. Um, we're looking for your street cars. We're looking for your projects. Um, we're, we've got a Maserati over here with a full wrap and we've got a full Pro Mod sitting here. Um, anything and everything is welcome. It's about a love for cars. Um, Kelly and I are trying to spread the growth and get people to know each other and get the kids to realize the, the culture behind these cars and it's not something that you just buy plug in and drive to and from work it, it's part of who you are it becomes part of your lifestyle there you um, go we're just trying to spread that culture back the stuff we grew up in and Very trying good. something different every year <laughs> nice uh so this year it seems to have grown right yeah the time seems to be helping uh, plus more people helping me put the show on we're going to check out this pro mod for a moment. We'll try not to linger too long here. There we go. So, come down this afternoon. You guys uh, just got started, really, at 1 o'clock. So, go until 6. Uh, up next is the... Hey, there's Eugene. He's on Seco News. We see Eugene all over the place, huh, Eugene? <laughs> there we go. Uh, here's a little competition orange 5.0. This car was here last year. We've got a lot of the repeat uh, vehicles here. Those guys that had bragging rights on my website, right? So we're still going to have some coverage coming up. Yeah, our um, challenge is meeting, meeting the new people to get them to realize what's going on. And a lot of people just don't pay attention to what's going on with the fair, and they, they think it ended yesterday. They don't realize that it goes through till Sunday. That's it. We've got lots of events. We've got the yeah, Cornhole Tournament. races at 2 p.m. We can take a look at that Cornhole right now. Tournament at 3 p.m. Stereo competition at 2.30. Burnout contest at 4. There should also be a beer garden around here somewhere. I'm not quite sure where the beer garden is. And of course, we are running cars across the street here on the east side as well. So if you see over there, we are running cars all the way down the street here. Don't forget to check out the ones over on the east side. And uh, the food provided, of course, by Agent Reviews. Here's the uh, Southeast Colorado Antique Vehicle Club. They got a shady spot. Mr. Doppel's got a new Studebaker, right? <laughs> there we go. Doug and Missy's Cuda. We got to show, we'd be remiss not to show Mr. Donkel's new Studebaker. He says it's exceptionally rare, and we're going to run a feature article on it coming up soon. He said it gets about 12 miles to the gallon on the highway until you stomp on it and then you might not make it to the next town. So we'll ask him more about that uh, special carburation setup. I'm going to keep cruising. Our live stream sponsors, of course, H&R Block of La Junta and Lamar, along with our friends here at your local Napa, Rocky Ford Auto Parts. We're gonna talk about them being one of our catalog sponsors. They run a 75 page quarterly catalog called Napa Real Deals, and we run that on Seco News for your convenience. So you can check out the catalog. There's uh, two, three ways to browse it and then Click that shop online and it'll get delivered to the store here in Rocky Ford and conveniently come pick it up. So even for those guys who aren't really into the internet and buying things, uh, parts is parts and sometimes you can only find them through the World Wide Web. So there we go. There's our plug for Rocky Ford Auto Parts, supporting our live stream. Uh, we're here with Gearhead Inc. and Absolute Automotive for the Arkansas Valley Fair Car Show 
I'm making Gordon walk me through here. Now, this truck won last year. Is that the case? Was it? It was. It so last year, this it. was our best of show. Best um, of show. It's a good example of a fully finished, um, typical top of the line show car, um, which we definitely want. We definitely welcome. Um, but we also, just down from it, you can see we've got a 58 Ford. We've got an early 5051 Ford that are still farm fresh, nice patina. It, it's about the car culture. This $50,000 show truck isn't any more valuable to the owner than a $4,500 farm fresh find. Exactly. They're, they're, they can be just as rare, take just as long to find, and take just as much love. Um, it's about the people. It's about caring about that car. So we want them all. Of course, this one, a radical custom build. Uh, that thing is custom from the chassis to everything connected to it, pretty much. Looks pretty yeah, close. so it's almost a full frame. Yeah. Um, I believe Beautiful. it had a quarter belt front drop member. I know it's a parallel four link bag set up on the rear. Nice. Let's keep circling here. We're right here on Main Street, actually, the intersection of Main and Front Avenue. Railroad Park. Excuse the wind. We got a nice cool breeze. Gonna bring fall weather. Get rid of the heat, huh? Best weather is when it changes, so of course we've got it on Seaco weather. Oh, here we go. We gotta get the shot of the wiener dog. Uh, champion favorite, athlete. Yep. This He's is the, the favorite, favorite to win really. The wiener dog races. Today. The wiener this dog race coming up. He's been practicing the last couple days. All right. <laughs> Very cool that wiener dog race uh, just around the corner. Lots of activities you wouldn't expect, and uh, some nostalgic ones like the burnout contest. I'm pretty excited about that. Uh, we've got some European stuff over here. Yeah, uh, and that's a pretty unique one. That's actually a, right around 700, 750 horsepower Mercedes. Oh, very nice. We'll take a look at the... Uh... It's a factory supercharged car, but then it was customized by Evo. Um, it's an Evo 3 kit where they poured and polished the supercharger, put a smaller pulley on it, full exhaust. I think there may be a little bit of head work. I mean, it's supposed to be pretty close to 600 to the ground. Wow. I think it's seven something with the flywheel. So what you're saying is I brought the right guy for the car show walk along. Yeah. <laughs> where, where are you going to find an LS swap Volvo? Uh, yeah, <laughs> there you go. Right here in downtown Rocky Ford. Yeah. Uh, for a couple more hours, come check it out. If you haven't seen that car on the street, uh, you know, you probably shouldn't try to pick on him. And I've been to some of the biggest car shows in the country and not seen the collection of vehicles that you've got right here. We've got a Grand National. We've got a 454 SS. Farther down, we've got a Lightning, an SRT10. We pretty much have the best street the best collection of street trucks you're going to find anywhere and then between absolute and gearhead we've got some of the most rare vehicles gm's ever produced very cool so come see it uh wrapping up that arkansas valley fair downtown rocky ford oh we didn't get you i don't think i got you too much just a little bit that i had uh a TV person asked me the other day if I could edit her out and I said oh no I'm live um, so life is good here's the shot I was looking for we got the gear heading car show going on well we aren't gonna call it that it's really the absolute automotive gear heading Arkansas Valley car show yeah. there you go it's got lots of names uh, great time to be had in Rocky Ford with good folks uh, like Leonard from the car club. He dodged the camera too. <laughs> Maybe you guys could see him there uh, checking out this Corvette. So we're gonna circle back around. And the exact opposite of the vet. <laughs> A little bit of everything. Yeah, but uh, when she's got candy paint, uh, that is beautiful. Nice tri-coat on there. Gorgeous. Uh, you changed the time of the car show this year. Um, yeah, it seems like our goal was to reach more of the community, which I've already mentioned. Everybody stays up so late with that wonderful Demolition Derby that they right. been putting on for so many years. It was we, packed. It was. It was sold yeah. out again. This year had a nice turnout of cars, and we wanted people to give them wanted to give people more time to rest up. 
So we started it late and then we added a beer garden. For those of them who might be a little hungover, they can wander down there and recover. There you go. <laughs> uh, we do have food from Richard's Ribs here. He recently did that barbecue cook-off down at the fairgrounds. I actually have some content for that and I've been uh, late on releasing. We'll check it out this 1940 Ford Coupe. It's cool stuff. I'm a big fan. I like these tail lights. They're pretty popular too. Lots of spectators this year. Kind of comes with putting up twice as many cars, huh? Yeah, I'm thinking the events and the, the more cars have helped out the spectators. It was definitely something we focused on this year. Instead of just advertising to the car community, we tried to spread it out to others. Wiener dog race yeah. enthusiasts. <laughs> Who doesn't want to come see wiener dog races? I mean, come on now. That's right. Uh, pretty much anywhere you live in the valley, you got enough time to get in the car and head down here and come check out those wiener dog races. And if you miss it, uh, there's going to be a stereo competition and a burnout competition. Yeah, and you definitely don't want to miss the burnout competition. I, I'm pretty sure there's a full-blown race car that's planning on blowing some tires. Um, I've got a supercharged Lightning on drag slicks that's going to be coming out there. It's going to be a lot of fun. Very good. So come on out for the burnout competition. That's at 4 o'clock? Yep. All right. Going till 6 o'clock tonight. It's the Arkansas Valley Fair Car Show in beautiful downtown Rocky Ford. We got to get the historic uh, backdrop here. And we're getting Larry in the shot here. More of the antique vehicle club members. It's good seeing them come out. For Gordon French. Kelly Uterman and everyone at the Arkansas Valley Fair Car Show. I'm Adrian Hart with your Southeast Colorado News on seconews.org.